The reactions to the allegations of sexual harassment leveled at the chairman of Angostura, Dr. Rolf Balgobin, have prompted the CNews team to revisit what the laws of Trinidad and Tobago have to say on the matter. In light of the controversy surrounding allegations of sexual harassment involving the chair of Angostura Limited, Dr. Rolf Balgobin, questions of whether legislation exists in Trinidad and Tobago to deal with this matter have arisen. According to the head of Gender and Development at UE, Dr. Gabriel Hussein, some work on this type of legislation has been done. There was model sexual harassment legislation for the region that was being worked on two years ago. And in fact, uh, there was a project called JURIS that in the last two years had been leading this regional formulation of sexual harassment legislation. I would argue specific sexual harassment legislation is necessary. It is not contained in the Sexual Offences Act anywhere, and some level of another kind of harassment can be dealt with in the Offences Against the Person Act. Some recourse can be found for the woman who is harassed on the streets in the Offences Against the Person Act. But Dr. Hussain admits that not much progress has been made in terms of sexual harassment on the job the heteropatriarchal masculinist nature of the Caribbean state. And in, and in those instances, legislation that particularly challenges the kinds of privileges that have been part of the male exercise of power have not been at the forefront of legislation. The other thing is that uh, wherever legislation has really come into being, it's followed pressure at multiple levels by the women's movement, whether internationally, say, following Beijing. You got a slew of legislation around the Caribbean, such as model legislation on domestic violence that had come from CARICOM. But there's hope, Dr. Hussain says, as government must fulfill international agreements which include the implementation of sexual harassment laws governments have not been at the forefront of producing progressive legislation on their own that challenges patriarchal privilege, particularly by men in power and historically sexual harassment has been practiced in ways that um, intimidate women by men who are their seniors. The government is supposed to be implementing its CEDAW commitment and the implementation of model sex of sexual mm -hmm. harassment legislation can fit in one of those fulfillment of commitments. With regional projects like Juris, Dr. Hussain suggests that women may find legal help sooner than later. The Juris Project is a CARICOM initiative aimed at modernizing regional court systems and processes.